Hey, how's it going, everybody? Michael Mercagliano here, the artist. Uh, I was just reading this book by Robert Henry called The Art Spirit. Uh, this is a great little book that was originally shown to me by one of my early artistic mentors, and it's always stuck with me. Um, I just started rereading it and wanted to share a little excerpt with you. This is from the first page. Art, when really understood, is the province of every human being. It is simply a question of doing things, anything well. It is not an outside extra thing. When the artist is alive in any person, whatever his kind of work may be, he becomes an inventive, searching, daring, self-expressing creature. He becomes interesting to other people. He disturbs, upsets, enlightens, and he opens ways for a better understanding. Where those who are not artists are trying to close the book, he opens it, shows there are still more pages possible. The world would be stagnant without him, and the world would be beautiful with him. For he is interesting to himself, and he is interesting to others. He does not have to be a painter or a sculptor to be an artist. He can work in any medium. He simply has to find the gain in the work itself, not outside of it. Museums of art will not make a country an art country, but where there is the art spirit, there will be precious works to fill museums. Better still, there will be happiness that is in the making. Art tends towards balance, order, judgment of relative values, the laws of growth, the economy of living. Very good things for anyone to be interested in. The work of the art student is no light matter. Few have the courage and stamina to see it through. You have to make up your mind to be alone in many ways. We like sympathy and we like to be in company. It is easier than going it alone. But alone, one gets acquainted with himself. Grows up and on, not stopping with the crowd. It costs to do this. If you succeed somewhat, you may have to pay for it as well as enjoy it all your life. Cherish your own emotions and never undervalue them. We are not here to do what has already been done. I have little interest in teaching you what I know. I wish to stimulate you to tell me what you know. In my office towards you, I am simply trying to improve my own environment. Know what the old masters did. Know how they composed their pictures. But do not fall into the conventions they established. These conventions were right for them. And they are wonderful. They made their language. You make yours. They can help you. All the past can help you. Great little excerpt. Uh, Robert Henry was really a fast painter, you know, sort of an all prima impressionist type of painter, a uh, great traveler, and really believed in finding your own voice in whatever your art form is. So I hope you thought this was interesting. Definitely check out this book, The Art Spirit, Robert Henry. Have a good night.